Matthews is in now with a check on what to expect for the rest of the night. Mary. Yeah, you know, Scott was saying it's picking up just a bit in eastern El Paso County. That's all due to the backside of the low pressure system that is now starting to swing some more moisture and energy back across uh, areas into the Pikes Peak region. So the intensity is picking up just a bit. It's not going to be terribly heavy, but it will pick up enough to where we could get some accumulations around an inch or less for most of the Pikes Peak region or really just El Paso County. Uh, out where Scott was, so just across the eastern sections of El Paso County, those uh, brighter blues starting to show up, so some uh, bit heavier uh, snow showers kind of ongoing right now and across areas into Lorison Range, southern areas of El Paso County around Fountain, uh, Fort Carson pretty light out that way. But if you're traveling south on I-25 uh, near Hanover uh, exit near Wigwam, some of those locations getting into Pueblo County, it's a little bit more intense out there. Visibility still a good quarter mile or less in some locations, so not terrible, but uh, it is starting to uh, certainly pick up in some locations and uh, really here around 8th Street, uh, Colorado Springs. Uh, so uh, you'll notice there just around Highway 24, probably picking up just a bit. The uh, winter weather advisory, though, has been allowed to expire uh, for areas into Taylor County. Just some lingering flurries left, and we'll be wrapping up with that uh, here in the next. Uh, hour to an hour and a half. Uh, most of the snow, though, is continuing to really swing across Highway 50 around Lamar areas into Los Animas and La Junta and a few lingering flurries there in uh, parts of the Sangres. Most of this activity wrapping up before midnight tonight across the local mountain cities before uh, 7 p.m. Let's take you over to the uh, radar here and kind of show you uh, the next system that's coming down the pipes actually is yielding some blizzard warnings across Lake Tahoe, uh, parts of California, Nevada. Uh, you'll notice that is coming in across the Pacific Northwest and all across San Francisco, the Bay Area, pretty wet right now. Uh, thankfully, though, we've got a weak area of high pressure building in across Colorado, New Mexico, parts of the Four Corners. So that's actually going to allow this uh, low pressure center to ride north north into the Pacific Northwest over the next couple of days, actually keeping us on the calmer side. So while the weather continues to really unfortunately rage across the West Coast, uh, we will calm down quite a bit and uh, start to see clearing skies overnight tonight. Satellite and radar actually shows that low pressure center broad counterclockwise spin now over New Mexico and Colorado. Uh, so most of the lingering activity again is on the back side of that low pressure center, what we call wraparound moisture. Again, accumulations an inch or less in most locations, stairs towards northern Pueblo County, up I-25 into Douglas County. Here we are at 7, 8 o'clock this evening. So most of the flurries will start to lighten up after about 9 o'clock this evening. But if you leave work late, 10 o'clock, uh, 1030, you're still going to be in some light flurries. You should be here just around parts of Colorado Springs, north into Monument and even Castle Rock through about 10 o'clock this evening. And then most of that wrapping up before midnight tonight here for El Paso County. Visibility may be a little bit of a problem tomorrow morning. Uh, we could have some locations that uh Visibility is just a tenth of a mile or less around southern El Paso County, northern Pueblo County. Here we are at 5 o'clock. Wouldn't even be surprised if some of that fog and a very dense fog was east of I-25 tomorrow morning. I think most of it starts to really clear out closer to the noon hour. We kick in a southerly flow across the state and that will help to uh, warm us back up just a bit. We'll have increasing sunshine tomorrow. Temperatures still in the 30s, but wind chill readings will be in the 20s. So you still need to layer up out there tomorrow, even though the sunshine is going to return later in the day. It's still going to be a pretty frigid start and a chilly afternoon. Thursday, boy, we're dancing to the beat of a different drum into the 40s to near 50 degrees on Thursday, and that warming trend kind of lingers in the forecast through the end of the week. We do get a reinforcing shot of cooler air on Saturday, which could trigger a few snow flurries for local mountain cities, but I think most locations here around the Pikes Peak region will remain high and dry. Uh, thankfully, though, the sunshine returning uh, for tomorrow and heading into Thursday is going to be a nice touch because I don't know about you guys, but here in Colorado, we go too long without seeing the sunshine. I start to get a little, a little sad, just a, just a little bit. You know, the winter blues. Nice. Yeah, winter blues. Exactly. Seasonal affective disorder That's kicking right. in. You know, exactly. All right, got a lot of melting to do. Mary, thanks. In today's Money Matters report, one of the country's largest pharmacies will soon offer the COVID-19 vaccine. CVS says.